Okay, so how do you add animations to your Google Slides presentations to make them more professional looking and more interactive? Well, in this video, we're going to provide the complete guide to creating animations in Google Slides. So let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna work with this sample presentation about magnets. And right now you can see that we don't have any animations. Each slide just cuts to the next slide and there's nothing moving on the slides themselves. So the first thing we wanna do is click on transition in the toolbar. Now, if you don't see that, click away from the slide to deselect any objects and you should see it up there in the toolbar. You can also go to the menu, click on slide and then transition. And this is the motion panel where all animations are created. And it's called the motion panel, which can be kind of confusing because you've got the terms animation, transitions, etc. but you are in the right place. So there are two sections here. On the top is slide transition. This section determines the transition between slides. And then below is object animations. This is where you'll create animations for any object on your current slide. Okay, so let's start with slide transitions. Now at the moment you can see that the slide transition for this slide is labeled none. That means that there's no animated transition set for this slide. Now you might be asking, are we working on the transition from the previous slide or the transition to the next slide? And that's a great question because it's not really clear. The answer is we're working on the transition from the previous slide to arrive at the current slide. So if we click on this little arrow, that will open up this section to choose some options. And clicking on this drop down menu shows us every type of slide transition available in Google Slides, and there's seven total. So let's do a quick demo to see what each type of slide transition actually does. Dissolve, fade, slide from right, slide from left, flip, cube, gallery, and there you go, that's all seven. Okay, so now let's take a look at the other option for our slide transitions, which is to set the speed of the slide transition. You can use this slider here to do that. And while you're moving the slider, you can actually see the duration of the transition. And by the way, those transitions that we just demoed are about 1.3 seconds. Okay, and finally, if you click apply to all slides, you can apply the transition that you've selected for your current slide to all slides in your presentation. So right now, for example, we have dissolve selected for this slide. So we'll select apply to all slides and that gives it the same transition for every slide. Okay, quick plug. If you're getting some value out of this video, consider subscribing or hitting the like button. And if you have any questions or comments about Google Slides animations, let us know in the comments below. Okay, so moving on to the next section, we have object animations. This is where we animate any individual objects on the current slide. And in order to animate an object, we have to select it first. And once we select it, we can click on add animation. And then in this first drop-down menu, we can choose from a list of animations for this object. And it's kind of a long list, but it helps to understand it if you know that about half of the animations are for making an object enter a slide, and the other half are for making an object exit the slide. But the last item on the list, spin, is an exception because it just makes the object spin around. There's no enter or exit. Okay, so let's do a quick demo. First, we're gonna show the animations to make an object enter the slide. Up here, fade in, fly in from left, fly in from right, fly in from bottom, fly in from top, and zoom in. Okay, and then let's take a look at the animations to make an object exit the slide. These are basically just doing the reverse. Disappear, fade out, fly out to left, fly out to right, fly out to bottom, fly out to top, and zoom out. Okay, so you might be wondering, if you make an, an object enter the slide, do you have to make it exit the slide? And the answer is definitely no. In fact, a lot of people rarely use those exit animations, 
More often than not, you can just leave the objects right there on the slide and then go to the next slide. Speaking of the next slide, remember there's that object animation spin, which is neither for exit or enter. It just makes the object spin. Okay, so now we know how to choose an object animation type. Let's take a look at the options for starting an animation. Those are what we choose in the next drop-down menu, and you can see that we have three options. On click, after previous, and with previous. Okay, so on click means that you need to click or press the space bar to start the animation in the same way that you advance from slide to slide. So the animation doesn't happen until you click. After previous means that the animation will start right after the previous animation or slide transition finishes. And with previous means that the animation will start at exactly the same time as the previous animation or slide transition. Okay, so let's walk through how these animation starters really work. Now on this slide, we've got four objects, a title, an informational text box, an image, and an interactive question. So let's do a different starter for each one. For the title, let's just leave that one as is without any animation. So when we transition to the slide, the title's just gonna be sitting there. And then let's have the text body enter right after the slide appears. So we're gonna choose fly in from left. And since we want that to enter after the slide transition, we'll choose after previous. And then for the image, it might be cool if it flies in from the other side at the same time as the text. So let's choose fly in from right, and then we'll choose with previous to make it happen at the same time as the text. And then we're gonna take a pause maybe to read that information. And when we're ready, we'll click to bring in the question. So let's choose fade in for the animation type and on click to start the animation. Okay, so we should be all set, but we're gonna to wanna to test it out. And we've actually got a way to do that right here in the motion panel by clicking on the play button. Okay, so let's click on that button. And you can see the slide transitioned in with the title already there, and then the text box in the image flew in from opposite sides. And now we've got to pause because remember we have to click to make the question fade in. So let's do that. Okay, and that's looking pretty good. We can stop our test by clicking on the stop button. Okay, now let's look at the other options in this section. So this by paragraph option is for multi-paragraph text boxes, which doesn't apply here, but we're gonna take a look at that in the next slide. Then you've got a slider for the speed of the animation, just like the slide transitions. You can also delete any animations by clicking on this trash can icon. And then finally, you see this little grid of dots here? If you click and hold, any of those grids, you can drag your animations up and down to change the order of the animations. Just keep in mind that if you do that, you might need to do some work with your animation starters to make sure that everything is flowing correctly. Okay, so let's move on to the next slide. Now here we have a title, image, and we've got two text boxes, and the second text box has bullet points. Now, sometimes there might be multiple pieces of information in a text box that you wanna name one at a time or take a moment to discuss. And one of the most common problems with slide decks is too much information on one slide. So this can be a great situation to use the feature by paragraph. Okay, let's select this text box with the bullet points and click on add animation. We'll choose fade in and on click to start it. And then we'll select the option by paragraph. And this feature works with any text box that has multiple paragraphs, bullet points, or numbered lists. So let's test the animation by clicking on the play button. And we can see that the bulleted list isn't there yet until we click. And there's the first item. Click again, there's the second item. All right. So when you're ready to see how all of your animations and your whole slide deck run together, you're gonna to wanna to go into presentation mode. Make sure that you've navigated to the slide where you wanna start. We're gonna start at slide one and then click on the slideshow button up at the top. 
And that puts you into full screen presentation mode. And you can click or press the space bar to move through your slides and the animations. All right, and if you're ready to learn more about Google Slides or any Google Workspace apps, we've got you covered with the other videos in this channel. So we'll see you in the next video.